What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, six four explorer, exploring Thurbeck Stickland. I got another really awesome spot for you guys today. This is a time capsule. From what I've seen from other videos, the roof has fallen down a little bit, but that just sometimes makes it look a little bit better. From what I heard last time, the power was on. But if we can't do a little scan here, there's the house right there. I'm trying to stay out of the sun for this little bit of a video. Look how beautiful that is. The driveway's taken right over. So I'm gonna show you the front of the house, but we've got to get in through the back, so let's get exploring. So I don't recall seeing this little fire bin here. So there must have been, must have been people hanging out. There's definitely a fire in the bin. So look at the eaves troughs, eh? Beautiful, beautifully taken over. They had nice steps though, nice grip on them. There's caution tape here on the windows. I'm not sure what that's all about. But maybe we'll find out. I know a man that knows a lot about spots. He's good at finding info. So I'm gonna see if he can't tell us what that's all about. Big, beautiful doors. They got their lights still hanging around. No one's taking them off. Another big, bay, beautiful, beautiful bay window with the different glass. But isn't that cool? I just want to show you how completely overgrown this backyard is. I've seen a tiny little path and there's something back here, so I wanted to follow it. But these, these are giant thorn bushes. I found that out the hard way, getting one in the arm. So we'll be a little bit more careful. That's beautiful. <laughs> Look, you can barely see the house because it's so overgrown, that's awesome. I really like that. I'm not sure if they've got anything else down here. I'll do a little bit of a peek, but it doesn't look like it. This was, this was the prize walking through all that. You can tell it, it was completely covered, so it was in the shade, but not anymore. So here I'm walking around back the other way because there was no way to get there after that cool little swing set. I guess the caution tape was just to make sure that nobody was messing with the windows. But we got a workout bench here. A little laundry machine. Well, a clothes hanger for your laundry. That's cool. Some nice horns, those are real too. Just a neat little shed with a hard hat and a shovel. Some nice rope. Very cool. All right, everybody, so we made it in. Fortunately, it was a window I had to come in. Look at the cobweb right there. Let's clear that. Check it out, we got pictures hanging on the wall. This ground is so wet right now and soggy, it sounds gross underneath my feet. We got jackets, boots, everything's still left here. And so there is still power here. I noticed that there was a light on. See, like that lamp's on right there. What a mess. I'm actually almost a little nervous. I'm gonna fall through the floor. I hear it making noises below me. Take a look at everything here. Tea kettles. This place has tons of books. It sucks that they're pretty much, they're all garbage now. They're all just so moldy and messed up. And I love books, you guys know that. So it sucks to see them all here like that. Yeah, see, like that lamp's still on. 
This place has been abandoned. I think I think it's going on 15 years. But like that's nuts that the power is still on. Look at all this cool stuff. Now there was a TV that had power on before. I'm not sure. I think maybe it was this one, but it's not turned on right now. There's some nice paintings on the wall too. More books. Ugh. And it's starting to smell really gross in here. Does this have a power button somewhere? That's so messed up. The weird electronics and stuff everywhere. More books. And see the way the roof, the ceiling's falling down. What a cool spot. Now we're going to look in here, but I don't know how far I'm going to go walking in there. Things kind of look like they're on an angle. Got all those markers, more books. But again, this place just reeks. We got suitcases everywhere. Yikes. How cool is this, though? I wonder why these people just left, because they honestly, they just up and out, considering that there's power on still. A European passport here. She was Dutch. She was born in 66. I'm not going to show the picture, but... Maybe from that I can help to figure out a little bit more about what's going on in here. There's tons of books, tons of books. Into the kitchen. So this says 2013, so maybe it's just going on 10 years. <laughs> but it looks a lot worse than 10 years. It looks a lot longer than 10 years, doesn't it? It's a real nice old chair. So if there's power on, is the fridge still? No, but there is food. Yeah, we'll do a quick little pan up here, see? Again, no ceiling. It's all down on the ground. Here's the marker room. I want to see if we can't get a closer look just to see what was happening here. There's been creatures crawling around all around on the ceiling. So I gotta be careful, nothing surprises me. But like there's also tons of animal crap in here. That's one of the worst. Yeah, look at that guys. These lights right there. Still power in this place. Gotta be very careful then. Walking around. Let's start turning all the switches off just in case. A whole lot of books. I'm not surprised to see more books. Here we got a real bad washroom. And look, the light's on in here too. Somebody went around and... Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was a big old spider, but it's not one to be dangerous of. Be afraid of. So we'll be able to get into that room going around the other side. I think the curtain's still up there. 
The lights are still on. You can still see all the gold bond and everything was just left. Even in here. That's a lot of stuff. Well, sorry. <laughs> Just looking behind me to make sure the spider wasn't at least climbing onto my backpack. Let's go across the hall. Wow. This room is full. But again, the ceiling's coming down. You got the old lamp, the dresser, that would have been your bed right there. Just tons of crap on it, so many books. So many books in this house. Pictures on all the walls. <laughs> Looks like, oh no, I thought the power was flashing on that giant dehumidifier. But it's not. Oh, see that bucket of water there? And it's got food and crap in it so that's one of the reasons this place really smells like really really bad a whole lot of neat stuff here but then tons of garbage and stuff on the floor oh nice look somebody was learning german Dankeschön. <laughs> very cool eh what's this little thing here Let's see if I can't pull that out. Maybe there's something neat in there. No, it's blank. All the nice paintings there too. Man, this room stinks. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Whew. None of the other rooms smell that bad. bedroom a radio and a stuffed animal these guys got books in every room that's cool Europe a history lots of European history too World War II stuff German language books that's disgusting ew Oh yeah, some German spiced wine. There we go. There we. Go. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Actual sets of books still. See how messed up the floor is with those bumps there. We'll see. Oh yeah. Okay, it's holding me. I just wanted to take a peek in the closet here because I seen a few clothes. Yeah. Got a bunch of clothes on that side. Whole lot of old clothes on this side. What look like more books. More shoes and clothes that have fallen down. There's a big old spider crawling on the wall, but again, not nothing to be afraid of. Right. Let's check out this last room. The floor, it's so buckled, the hardwood, that you can't open the door anymore. So you just gotta think skinny and get in. A lot more books, encyclopedias. man you can tell by the the covers of some of them the cloth that they are what a shame what a shame 
<laughs> this shelf completely buckled. Ew. I'm sinking in wet crap here. <laughs> it's not nice. There's no ceiling in the place, so that's obviously why, right? Ew. Part of the hanging down ceiling touched my foot. Or my, my ear. So a few more books and stuff scattered around. Oh, Panda Man. Panda, bro, I love you. Rest in peace, man. Thank you for keeping me safe on these journey journeys. You're the best, brother. Panda. Look at all these books. Whoa. That was like a plastic bag or something that I just stepped on there. Oh, God. <laughs> that actually scared me myself in the mirror there. What a cool house. This is just the upstairs. We still got more to check out. I'm going to walk back to the... Oh, actually might be hard getting out. It's easy getting in that door. Okay, we made it. Again, everybody, look. Look at the waste of books. The waste of knowledge. Absolutely everywhere. There's the stairs. We're going to go downstairs in a second. Kitchen. This awesome room. All right. Let's make our way down these nasty stairs. Gotta be slow because they're not really stairs anymore. Holy crap. I had no idea all this was still down here. Wow. <clears throat> my heart's broken my heart's broken for all these books I thought that was going to be the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe there oh my lord this does, this hurts me so many old cool books this is where he sat and read them all hopefully Lots of markers and stuff all over the place, too. Magazines, more books, and a whole lot of makeup here. Look, there's another part to the basement. There's a third level. Hats and clothes. Big giant tool underneath this drawing. That'll hurt you. It's even made up to swing and take a head off. A recorder. I played one of them back in school. What's in this one? Just a smaller recorder. That's pretty cool. I've never seen the little version. A giant workout machine. Look how big these things used to be. That's why the other one's outside in the yard. If you had two of those in your room, that's pretty much it. You're not fit, fitting much else. You still got the wood set up for the fire. That's cool. Bunch of old pictures from where they traveled. You got the Kremlin, Big Ben. A few different places. Pretty sure that's what that was. 
If I'm wrong, you guys can let me know. You know where to find me. Some nice old wood there too. Look, that's awesome. The Gatorade bottle's still in the workout machine. Wow. Just books upon books upon books upon books. Modern Germany. I like that. Man, oh man. Look at everything. That's crazy. King and Queens of England playing cards. This room's awesome. <laughs> so much stuff left. It's just in the most horrible condition you could ever imagine. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. See, and I watched a bunch of exploring videos, but they were they were like before I started my channel, which was a year and three months ago. And I've decided to not watch too too much. Sometimes I get jealous. And I don't remember that this place was this cool down in the basement. I really do not. That's some horrible black mold. Here, you guys take a peek over here. Because I can't fit. What does that look like? Just an electrical box? Yeah. And whatever that is on the wall to the right. But not much going on. Holy. This room. See, look. That little crack there. There was no way 6'4 was fitting through there. He's also 205 pounds now, so things are a little bit tighter than they used to be. Oh. I want to walk around and see some of this stuff, but there's so many cobwebs, like big nasty hanging things. There's a mask there, again. <coughs> oh God, as I cough. Irony. See, brother, why don't you just put your damn mask on? It's hanging off of your back right now in your backpack. Smarten up. Put the damn thing on. I just want everyone to be able to hear me good, you know. Whoa. Whoa. This place had one serious leaking problem. Like the whole roof was just one giant hole. Again. Buy books. Okay. This place just keeps going. This is a big house. Oh, garbage on the ground. Man, fridge is still full. All this wasted food. I don't like ruined books and I don't like wasted food. Eat that stuff, man. Come on. There's starving people in the world like me. <laughs> no, I'm just hungry all the time. Look at that gross concoction. You can hear the fridge. That one's still running, so why didn't anybody keep the door closed? Keep the food good. I'm gonna turn around so I don't rub up against nothing. Oh, come on, camera, smarten up. There we go. Oh. Tight fit. Man. This place just keeps on going. Look at, see the lights on over there. See, it's always weird, right? You don't like exploring. Well, I don't like exploring places. See, there's the window somebody had open. That was nice. Because it's keeping a breeze in here. Clothes on both sides. Stuff on the ground, light bulbs, 
more clothes. That's crazy. There's so many bugs in here too, flying around. Oh yeah, we looked in there. <laughs> we got some real old money. Rusted so you can't even tell what it was. A little lazy Susan. So they had two, like maybe three kitchens in this house. See the time flashing? See, even though there's power in the windows, there's plenty. It's still dark in here. And again, remember what I told you guys, be careful, right? Look at that knife just sitting right there. Somebody's ever following you or comes in behind you, you got to make sure to be careful because there are weapons everywhere, always in these houses. And for Pat, look at the old T-bar ceiling hanging down. That's been there for a long time. Real rusty. Well, I guess since we're here, we'll go this way. Another door. This takes us into the garage. Let's see again, more power. Just flashing away. Laundry room, stuff everywhere. Big bath, big shower area, mirror over there. Oh, some nice skis. I'm finding a lot of skis in houses lately, eh? We've switched. We've switched from clothes hangers to skis. And there's the outside. There's the burn barrel that we already had a discussion about. Since there's power, I wonder if this garage door still opens. Maybe I don't want to, it's gonna be loud. No, it's not. All right, so I'm gonna film and take some pictures on my way back. You guys meet me at that little fork in the road in the basement there. All right, you guys are here already. A little tiny shoe. Tons of clothes piled up here under this door thing. I never noticed that. Oh, really cool. A little sauna room with a hot tub. Can get in a little bit more. Not gonna get right into the hot tub, but I like the wood around. This room doesn't smell as bad as the other ones, but it's still not, not pleasant. Sometimes my camera likes to turn quick like that, so I'll go back. Forgive me. Look, they even got books. Books with your hot tub. These ones are just piled here. Somebody's storing these. Books everywhere, man. Rest in peace, all you books. It is really a shame. Well, that's pretty awesome. It's a nice hot tub. I just wanted to look at it a little bit longer. So I found this little area just out here. We got a bench and Again, there's a real big ravine going down there. But look, they had a little pond set up. And there's a little waterfall, so water would have come down. And then into here. There's tons of frogs in it right now. Seeing three jump in. 
I thought that was pretty cool. So you know what, while we're here, explorers, thank you all for joining me on this trip. Such a beautiful spot, I might as well end the video here. Even though my bag's all the way over that way behind you guys. There was a porch to this house upstairs, you guys seen that, but there was no way to actually get out onto it. So I don't know if maybe the door was just that far gone or hidden, but I'll do another little double check. If I can make it out there, I will. If you guys can see, right there, see the porch? Yeah, there you go. So right there's the porch to the house. I'm not sure how to get there, but I can give it a try. I will again. Thank you all for joining me. Again, you guys are absolutely amazing. You're making this the reason I'm doing it. So much fun, so many cool houses. I can't believe everything that's out here. I know I say it all the time, but I'll probably keep saying it. And like, subscribe, share it. Thank you guys for your comments, for all the love and the support. I'm gonna keep putting out these videos. Thank you all for tuning in every week. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.